this is Mark with Productivity 501 and today I wanted to show you five things you can do with the terminal that you may not have realized or at least these, these were things that were interesting to me when when I found them. Um, the first one is you can drag and drop files and folders back and forth in or into the terminal and then use that instead of typing out the whole path to a file or to a directory. So for example if I want to change in change directories into this picture directory I've got on my desktop, I can just type cd and drag and drop that directory and it will fill it out as if I typed the entire path there. So now I'll change that directory. This can be, this isn't something I use a whole lot, but it can be a really big time saver when you've got the directory you need to switch to. It's right there on your desktop or right there sitting in a finder window open. You can just drag it over and be right where you need to be. Uh, let me give you another example here. If I want to move this file, the test.txt, I can tell it to move that file to this directory. Now, obviously, it would have been easier just to drag and drop it right up there, but there are situations where you're needing to do something in the terminal that's maybe more complicated than something you can just do with your mouse from the finder. So if I hit enter here, that file disappears and it's now in that directory of pictures I had. So that's the first thing. You can drag and drop file folders instead of typing them out into the finder. Uh, the second thing I want to show you is how to open files. So let's use this method again, and we're going to switch to this picture directory. If I do an ls, I can see that the, the file is there that I, I moved there. But if I want to open this, I can just type open. And it does the same thing as if I were to have double-clicked on that file. Um, so th this is a way to, to open the file in whatever application is associated with it. This can be really useful if you're trying to do something like maybe you're using the, the terminal to uh, the command lines to sort things or count things, and then you need to get back into the document, but you want to use the, the GUI tool to do it. So you can also use this to open applications. Um, and normally the way you do that is type out the whole path to the application, but you can also use this minus A and it will open the application. So in this case, we just open Safari. Something else that's interesting is you can open you can open a URL this way too, and it will use whatever your default browser is and open the URL. So there's open and then the URL I wanted to open. You can also use the open command to open uh, folders. So in other words, kind of like we did a minute ago, we went from the GUI into the terminal. Now we're going to go from the terminal and bring something up in, in the GUI. So if I open uh, dot, for example, it will open whatever the current directory is. So if I open this, it's going to open that in Finder because we're opening a directory and the application that's associated with the directory is the Finder. So that made it easy to open that up right, right there. If I open a image file, Okay, there, there's an example image. If I just open that, it's going to open it with whatever is associated with that um, with that particular file type, which in this case is, is preview. So I can open that up. That brings it up like this. Now, my child does not actually look like this. This is taken from underwater. So, so that's a quick thing you can do. can make it easy to jump back and forth. The third thing I wanted to show you is how you can use tabs within the terminal. So, if I'm in this terminal, I can create a tab, uh, another tab, which is its own separate terminal window, uh, just by doing command T. So there's command T, and I can create a couple of these, and you'll know, have one thing going on in here, and uh, another thing going on in here. Uh, I could also use these to SSH into different machines and then jump back and forth between them with the tabs. I can rearrange the tabs. So basically, I, the code behind this is very similar to the same thing you have with Safari. If I do command N, I can actually open another totally separate window, and it can have a bunch of tabs as well. Now I can take these tabs if I want, pull it down, and I could drop it down here and create a, a totally separate new window. I can also take it and drag it into this other terminal window. So it makes it easy to rearrange things. The code seems to work very similar to the way that it does with Safari. Um, so most of the stuff you can do with Safari tabs, you can go ahead and do here as well. 
Fourth thing I want to show you is the say command. Let's clean up here just a bit. I don't know that this is particularly productive, uh, but it's kind of a cool little thing. You can type say and then something you want to say. Yes, master. Your wish is my command. And it will say whatever you, you type in. Uh, I've used this before when I was trying to get a hold of somebody in my staff, some of my staff, and the phone wasn't being answered. I could see them through a surveillance camera. I was wasn't in the office, and so I started talking from a computer that was sitting underneath the desk. And it was uh, it's pretty funny watching them try to scramble around and see where the voice was coming from. Um, Another way you might use this is by running, telling it to notify you after a long process was to run. So, for example, if we say, here, we're going to tell it to sleep for four seconds, and then after it's through sleeping, say, so wait for the four seconds. I am finished. And it says that it, it's finished. Not a huge productivity thing. Um, it might be useful in certain situations, maybe especially if you're creating some type of fi uh, program you need to run and do something you want to notify you afterwards. But it, it's kind of a fun thing. Okay, let's look at the fifth thing here. And the fifth thing I wanted to show you is how to get stuff in back and forth between the GUI on, on the clipboard. So, for example, if I am going to... Well, let's, let's see an example here. Let's switch to picture here and um, let's go ahead and let me get a text text document open here I'll create a new one okay so I've got this untitled document and if I do an LS here's a bunch of stuff that shows up and I can uh, copy this if I want just like this copy anything from here and paste it over here. So that works, but if for some reason I need to do it from the command line, you copy things into the clipboard, there is a way to do that, and that is like this. So I can take whatever command I want, in this case we'll use the ls command, and pipe it or send it to pb copy. So when I do that, it then puts everything into my clipboard and I can paste it. There's a list of all those all those files. If I want to go the other way, for example, let's let's open this. So I've got this document, and I want to copy this and be able to paste it in from the command line. You know, obviously, I can do something like this. Um, you know, copy it and then come down here and just do a paste, and that will paste it in that way. But if I need to actually grab something um, using a command line command uh, in terminal, and grab the stuff that's in the clipboard, I can do it this way. So I'm over here, I'm going to copy this, and then I can do pb paste, and that's going to paste in whatever, for whatever I have. So if I do something, if I tell it to... Whoops. Run that to the echo command. Okay, evidently it won't, won't show up like that. Let's run it into the say command. This is a test document. So I can take what's there and run it into something else if I need to, or um, I, I could do something along the lines of take it in and put it into another file. Now that, that has the, the contents of, of the file in it. So it, it can be useful in certain situations, particularly if you're trying to script something or set something up like that. So those are the five things. First, that you can drag folders and files into and uh, out, out of the, the terminal window. Uh, the open command in order to drag things or be able to open things up from the terminal into your GUI. The tabs, being able to drag things drag the tabs around and create new tabs in, in the terminal window. The say command, which um, may not help you with work, but can be a fun thing to play with. And then the pb copy and pb paste command. Hopefully of those five things, at least one of them was something new to you, and hopefully one that will, will actually help you get more done. Uh, this is Mark Shedd, Productivity 501.